Hello. I'm going to try and do a video a day in the mornings from now on. So today's topic is outsourcing. What I think about outsourcing. Outsourcing is a very bit important topic these days. Um, I think going to become a political topic because a lot of people think that America is going downhill because we're sending all of our jobs overseas to India and um, so we need to bring the jobs back. Okay, well, overall, I think outsourcing is good. I like outsourcing. Um, I think those jobs that those people are referring to, the jobs to India, are good. And uh, we should keep those jobs over there because they don't cost anything. Um, it's just, you're just talking to people through the phone, and that's free. And um, it's a great way, those kinds of um, jobs where it's free to outsource, those jobs are great um, because it teaches the country, like India, the third world country, <laughs> to do things the way that we do things. And I think we should teach other third world countries to do stuff the way that first world countries do. Because um, that's the main problem, I think, why people don't want to um, release, um, to um, dissolve borders. Uh, should do that before. Um, is because is because third world is um, they're not responsible enough to dissolve borders. Um, I mean, I would like to dissolve the borders, like tomorrow, just dissolve the borders. But I, I honestly don't think that that would be a good thing because all these third world people would just want to come to America. I got an email yesterday on YouTube and some like anonymous person on one of these empty YouTube channels is like, yeah, uh, can you, can you help bring me to America and help get me a job and a place to stay? Um, yeah. And I've actually been getting a lot of emails from like third world people, um, who like want me to like help them out doing stuff. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, I think that if they come here and they want to, you know, they don't, if, if we open up the borders, third world people, it's going to be kind of like, um, like Mexicans, we're kind of going to be lose our country and they're going to come here and just bring their third world ways, come here and just keep multiplying. Um, a lot of these problems with third world countries is they just multiply. They just have babies like in uh, Nepal, they have a big, huge, um, um, orphan problem in Africa and people popping out babies they can't take care of and it could if you open up the borders it could become a thing where um, where America or nor in the Northwest Europe which is also having a big immigration problem with Muslims going over there and just kind of starting their own like Muslim areas and not even learning English and I saw that myself I'm trying to get directions from some Muslim lady who didn't even speak English at all um, People, kind of people in the third world looking at America and North and Western Europe as being a place to just dump people. Like they have extra people and they'll just dump them. And then they come here and they don't come here because they like America or Western Europe. They just come here because it's like a place of wealth and they don't think why it's a place of wealth. They just come here and they're like, cool. And they just pop out more babies, you know, and use up the, um, the uh, social security system like uh, Medicaid. Like with the Mexicans, just come in here, and if you make under 10000 a year or something, you get the Medicaid. So they come here and use Medicaid to have free babies, which can become citizens. And then and then they can, could make bad voting decisions, voting for, like, communist, um, you know, which is like oligarchical type um, po uh, politicians just because they they like to push the... the um, the Medicaid type of programs that help pe pay for people who don't do anything. And so, um, so, yeah, so I don't think like opening borders is a good idea. And, um, well, one th other thing I want to say is, yeah, third world people, they do kind of have an idea of like fanciful thinking to, to too. They don't think logically, you know, they might, they, they, I mean, cause people might think, oh yeah, well, how are they, even if you do open the borders, how are they going to afford to come to America anyway? Aren't plane rides like 800 bucks? Well, Maybe they could get like a, a, a credit card loan to come over here or borrow money, you know, and just never pay it back. Um, 
I brought my wife and her stepson over, or her son over, and they were here for three months, and then I get a, she, my wife, one day, she's like, yeah, my mom wants to talk to you, so she, I'm like, yeah, she's like, yeah, you're going to sponsor me to come to America, and I was like, but you're broke, because they were broke, I paid for all of the utilities for her parents' house the last month I was there. And I, I bought all the extra, you know, like the heater and all this stuff. And they were flat broke the whole time. And she's like, oh, don't worry about that. I can scrape up the money, you know, just thinking fancifully. And my mom, my, I mean, my wife used to do that kind of stuff too. But anyways, um, yeah, so basically I think that was a necessary sidetrack because I wanted to illustrate the point that um, third worlders are third worlders for a reason. They don't, they don't. They're not first, they don't think, they're not responsible. The poor people are responsible and the rich people hoard all the money. So basically, I think we should, but in the future, I do want, I do think that we should open up the borders and make it so that anybody could go anywhere in the world. So how are we going to do that? Well, I don't think we're going to do it by just opening our borders now, because that could destroy the whole planet. If the whole, it could, it could bring first world countries down to the level of third world countries. Um, just by doing the stuff, the thing, the stupid shit that they do. Um, I think the best way is to bring third world countries up to the level of first world countries first, and then you dissolve the borders. And I think the best way to bring third world countries up to first world, the level of first world countries and the way that they, they live their lives and do their business and everything is, well, by sharing our culture. Um, one, I mean, I think movies... Exporting American movies and music is a good idea. Um, and um, But also um, outsourcing is, is perfect. Because, because they're working for American companies. Americans get to call the shots on how the way stuff is done. Business is done. Um, so they're becoming um, acquainted with following protocol and... Um, and being professional and courteous and responsible. Um, and at the same time, <clears throat> we get a service for a, a cheaper price than we would have to pay if we had the workers here. And it's free. Talking to people across the world is free. So any kind of digital outsourcing, like whether it's outsourcing somebody to, you know, do the special effects on a movie or um, phone support, also especially tech support, because they, they would have to learn English, and it encourages people to learn English. Um, but, um, like outsourcing, I don't know if you'd call this outsourcing, but um, you don't have to title the video outsourcing. Um, international trade, as far as shipping is concerned, buying stuff from another part of the world that you don't have to, you know, like buying... Even, even, even like wine, like buying wine, I think we should put tariffs on wine from other countries because we can buy wine from our own country. I don't, you, you shouldn't have to go to a wine store here in California and buy wine from Chile and France because those are, that's just, we're wasting um, money shipping all that stuff over here and I mean that's maybe that's not the best example I'm sure there's others I don't I'm not really well read on the subject but like we get grapes from Chile um and um yeah that kind of stuff I think we should put tariffs on stuff that people ship around the world where you could just make it in your own country because <clears throat> it would make because <clears throat> it would make life in general cheaper for us and maybe they don't have tariffs on that kind of stuff because it's some kind of like deal that the, the big companies are making. Um, I think that uh, tariffs should be abolished. I don't like tariffs. But um, they, sh they shouldn't be like abolished in favor of big companies who can, who can pay, you know. Like, they have, like, NAFTA. I think NAFTA is, a, is kind of pisses a lot of people off because it favors only people, only big companies who have, like, a hundred, like, a thousand trucks or something, and so they get to do it for their price. But if you're, like, independent, you have to pay the entry fee, which is, like, 20000 or something like that, you know? That kind of stuff 
um, definitely should not exist. They should, you should have just as many advantages for tiny little businesses as for the big ones. And obviously have laws against um, monopoly, you know, like where you undercutting, have laws against undercutting. So the big companies don't can't charge way less just for this period of time until this person goes out of business and then they jack their prices up again, you know. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I think uh, outsourcing as far as digital stuff is really, really, really good, really good for dissolving the, um, the, uh, the borders. And, um, okay, so I guess that's all I was going to say about that. Hmm.